Welcome to lesson nine of Learn C. Um, today we're going to learn about um, file input. So we're going to input data from a file. One thing to notice is that I downloaded Notepad++. So uh, just Google download Notepad++. It's a useful tool for me. You can probably get away with just Notepad, but um, I like Notepad++ a little better. Um, so I'm going to open up... Um, Um, lesson 8, take this and I'm going to control A and control C, copy it all. And I'm going to file, I'm going to close that project and I'm going to go file, new, project, console application, lesson 9. Go up one, make one, lesson nine. Control A, Control V. And then just check it. Works. So now um, I want to want to do one other thing. I want to put those numbers actually in an actual data file. So I'm going to go to Notepad++. Let's say three, five, eight. I'm going to make sure I have a hard return after that eight. By the way, I'm going to file, save as, in lesson nine, in. We call it in.txt. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Okay, so I just made myself a data file. So if I go into C code and I go into lesson nine, look, there's in, in.txt is there. It's one less than one kilobyte for sure. Yeah. So now instead of doing all this stuff here, I'm just going to leave one of the scanf statements there. I'm going to go up and uh, do a um, file I.O. I'm going to, instead of having the user input, I'm going to have the file input. So we need a new variable, file, all caps, star FP. And then we go um, FP equals F open, and then the name of the file, quotes, in.txt, and then comma, and then in quotes, the type of thing we're going to do to that file. We're just going to read it. We're just going to open up and read it. You can write, you can append, you can do all sorts of other stuff, but R is for read. I'm just going to take that. Oops, keep doing that. Then scan F. And at the end, you may have to make sure you close the file back of close FP. So that's how you do a file, which is just with this, you need, declare a new variable FP. FP is a handle. It's a handle to the file. It's like, it's like in a variable name, sort of, except it says um, F scan F. I want to scan F percent G and A sub zero, but where, which file? The file FP. And in order to, you have to, you have to assign FP by, with the command F open. You have to say which file and where it is and what type of, where, how you're going to open it. And that's how that works. And the average is 5.33. Notice that the input-output stuff, enter the first number, second number, third number, didn't happen. It just entered them all in and got the answers. Just as a check, I want to change this value to 9 and see if it changes it.
and then just execute it again. I don't need to recompile, I just need to run it as five and two thirds. So it's working. That's it. That's how you do file IO. And that's the end of lesson nine. And my battery is almost out. Thank you.